So I have to convince Udom Bedford to leave Jessie alone. That way she's able to walk freely without any fear of being killed. Question is, do I have enough charisma to talk my way into helping her? I don't know. Let's see. Ah, the board. Organized, efficient, competent. Well, mostly. Mm. Everything about this place stinks of privilege. Oh, trust me. I can sense it myself. Hello. Welcome to the office of the representative of Halcyon Holdings here on Groundbreaker. How might I assist you today? Uh, who are you? I am the board's representative here on Groundbreaker. You may call me Mr. Silva or Sir, whichever you prefer. Uh, I don't call any man Sir, sorry. Okay, well, I'll see myself out. Wait, what did I talk to Jesse? Really? Wait, hold on, no. Hello again. I haven't a moment to spare for you just now. Fuck! Do return at another time. Dude, you mean to tell me I couldn't even do anything? I literally what the hell just happened? No, seriously, what the hell just happened? This shit's so fucking weird. He didn't really give me any options to talk to him or anything. Yo, Jesse is about to be totally pissed right now. I don't even know what the fuck happened. You're sure no one followed you? Is it all clear or am I still a wanted woman? Odom was replaced. There's a new board rep on the station. Well, law have mercy. That sure works in my favor. With Udom gone, I don't owe money to anyone on the board no more. You have my greatest gratitude for letting me know I am now debt free. Really? So that was it? Huh. I thought I failed the mission, but I guess I was successful in a way? I mean, nothing wrong with that. One of the orderlies told me Jesse's out already? <laughs> you really do work fast. Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Uh, y are you saying you'll work for me just because I helped Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, mm -hmm. I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. What exactly did Jessie do for you anyway? She helped me win a bet. What was the bet? We were on a smuggling run planet side when our point man bet me I couldn't outrun a mantisaur. Don't tell me you tried. What can I say? Something about people telling me I can't do a thing that just makes me itch to prove them wrong. And, as you can probably guess, the thing was faster than it looked. Probably would have caught me if Jesse hadn't picked it off. So she saved your life. Yeah, but the important thing is I won the bet. You really don't like owing people, do you? It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. Well, welcome aboard, Ellie. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. How about... Um, meet me on my ship. It's docked by the Promenade. Traveling in style, are we? I'll be sure to nab a cabin with a view. We got us a real sawbones. Welcome aboard, Ellie. Damn, she dipped hella fast. Okay, so since we got a new crew member on board, what can I do? I mean, is there anything I need to do before I head out? Let me just check quickly. Okay, so 
I totally forgot the quest where I was helping the doctor find the captain, so... We definitely need to go to Scylla just to see what's going on with Captain Iron or I'm saying, son, wherever. Is you'll generate more force with the proper grip. It's more like this, not like that. No offense, Max, but I think I know my way around a tossball stick. I got my own set of highly specialized skull cracking techniques. I have my own special set of handy skills as well. Hey. That pad down there, with the lights off, there are people unloading. Anyways, let's head out and see what is going on with the captain here. He could be either dead or just, I don't know. Yay, we're traveling to another planet. I can't wait. Let me see here. So, Skilla. Okay. Destination reached. Scylla. Oh, Scylla! That's how you say it. I'm over here saying Scylla. I'm pretty curious to see what. Hey, boss. I want to talk to you. Oh no! What happened? Talk to me. Hey, boss. Got a mm -hmm. hypothetical for you? Mm-hmm. You got a friend, see? Mm -hmm. Somebody you knew when you were growing up. You were close. Then one day, they up and vanished. Five years go by. They send you a message out of the aether. What's going through your head? Shock and disbelief seeing how most of my friends are still on Earth. Right, forgot about that. Though, shock and disbelief's a good way to put it. Guy by the name of Clyde Harlow. He was an old friend of mine. Honestly, he was probably my first and longest friend. I just heard from him. What? Says he wants to talk to me. Says it's urgent. What? You don't sound too sure about this. The guy just vanished without a trace one day. No goodbyes, no explanations. Been gnawing at me ever since, you know? I can see why you're worried. Clyde was my first friend, but he was also my mentor. Taught me how to think, how to question, how to disobey. I figured the board got him in the end. Some guys with black uniforms snatching him off the street in the middle of the night or something. You think he's in trouble? That's what I don't know. The message was light on details. No explanations, as usual. Clyde. He was a blustery old cuss. Carried on about violent revolution and seizing the means of production. This is obviously important to you. Let's go. Figured I should let you know, seeing as we're on Scylla and all. Clyde's got a base on the other side of this rock. I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me. Thank me later. Right now, we gotta go see Captain Iron, or whatever his name is. Wow, this place... I mean, I know I've been here a couple times, but... This place never ceases to amaze me. Look at the stars. Look how beautiful this is. If it wasn't for the fact that there's... Killer monkeys here, I would probably live here, honestly. Alright, so Killer Monkeys, time for me to bring out the big guns here. Gotta figure out what's up with the captain, you know. Damn, this is a beautiful scenery, honestly. Like, of course I'm gonna steal and pick up stuff. Why wouldn't I? Are you gonna shoot me? Here they come. Fuck! Damn, he he really took them out. Look at that. Good job, priest. We should be on our way, anyways. We're like what, one sixty meters away. Being that Felix and the Vicar are my new followers, I'm gonna test out their abilities. Damn, he oh, really. Yeah, bro, you really got legs for days. Like, you deadass kicked him to death. Sometimes violence is the only way. With his one-liners, that's cute. Oh, shit. Who's here? Oh, damn. Why do I need a, a close-up of his booty, bro? I did not ask for that. I feel... 
I feel really violated. What the fuck, Owl Worlds? I don't need that. <laughs> like, all right, Captain. I really hope you're alive. Thank the heavens he is. But there's creatures, so. You know, you didn't have to shoot me down. Yo. Oh shit. I think, I think it's a trap. Yo, did he shot him in the dick? Oh shit. Oh shit. You know, the outfits here are pretty nice. I think I'm gonna take one. Seriously. Alright, so... Are we good? Yo, folded like an omelette. Holy shit. I'll take this. I'll take that. Nothing? Um, okay. So, Captain, what's what's good? Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Mm -hmm. Subject appears to be terrified. Damn. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. I never heard of that before, but Captain Iron, I take it. The one and only. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did he? She did. I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automechs are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. A hired oh, what? Huh. You ought to be thanking me. You're lucky you're alive. Yes, well, I shan't. Give Wanda my chilliest regards. What a prick! I saved his ass, and then he has the audacity. The audacity to fucking complain. You ain't shit for that. Let's go. We gotta head out. Hold on, let me see something. There's so many gorillas here, honestly. I just... We need to definitely skedaddle here. Um, Felix did mention that there is someone he wants to meet. So let me just take a quick look here. Okay, so we definitely could try and meet Clyde. He did mention how... His former mentor is on the other side of this rock, so we can definitely swing on by since we're near the neighborhood, sort of speak. Damn, that captain guy is such a prick. Seriously, though, the audacity. I just love how my companions are just staring at me down as if... They're waiting for me to do something. I don't know. By the way, I just realized something. By the time this video is... No more fertilizer shipments be brought on board. Who keeps ordering these? Not me, Ada. I don't know why you're coming at me crazy, but it ain't me. Anyways, by the time this video is uploaded, it'll be Christmas Day, so... Merry Christmas! To whoever is watching this video. Let's go. We are on the other side of this monkey rock. And I assume this is the base? Wow. So you mean to tell me you go abandon the person that you know for five years and then come back into their life acting like nothing has happened? You looking for something? Where do you think you're going? Felix Millstone's with me. Clyde Hollow's expecting us. Yeah. The captain said we might be getting a new recruit. A new what? Then? Wait, what? It's like Clyde's jumping to conclusions, but yeah. I'm Felix. You're on a first name basis with Captain Harlow, huh? All right, go on through. Wait, a recruit? F what the? What? Got my sights on you. Okay, good. Bro, so this guy's gonna try and take Felix away 
from my crew. This hollow guy is so funny. Some nerve. Let me just put my gun away. Wow, look at this. This station's not too bad, actually. Spacer's choice. Hmm, okay. Yo, there's blood on the floor. What the hell? You know, I'm starting to think that this hollow guy isn't really a good mentor. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see or a you've aged old man? No, it's fine. I'll do my own introductions. Denise Harlow. Harlow, Denise. Your captain has a sense of humor, Felix. Good. There's a time and place for humor. Hmm. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. Felix is, uh, a vital member of our crew. He's, uh, well, he's good in a fight. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. He hasn't. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. Tell me why we're here. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day... He and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. Wow, that is so funny. So you want him to be loyal even though you've left his you left him alone, walked out of his life for five years, and then you waltz back in acting like he's gonna like what be at your feet just because you want to put him through a test? Everyone in my crew proves their loyalty. No exceptions. Not even Felix. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. What did this Trask do to deserve death? Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own and tucked tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. There's more to this than you're letting on. You think so? Yep. Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. I agree. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. There's something I like to ask you. Let's hear it. Felix tells me you disappeared one day. I was working on this plan for years, saving every bit I could, drawing plans, biding my time. I never intended to spend my life laboring on the groundbreaker. When the opportunity presented itself, I did what I had to do. I left. You might have said something. I had some ugly business in Scylla. If I told you, I would have implicated you. Hmm. You want to elaborate? Sorry. You want to elaborate on that? Hephaestus controlled mining operations all over Scylla. Most of these operations failed. The company pulled out and abandoned their facilities. Mostly abandoned anyway. This one was running on a skeleton crew. My associates and I seized control in a matter of minutes. 
You said you were working on something big. Was this it? A revolution is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations, loyal soldiers, freedom from the board's oversight. Huh. What makes you think you're free? The skies around Scylla are curiously absent of patrol ships. It's almost as if the board's sphere of influence is shrinking. Besides, our facility is well armed and located on defensible terrain. If the board tries to lay siege to us, we'll make them pay. So you're a band of outlaws living on the edge of an asteroid. Some revolution. Not all revolutions involve bloodshed and fire, Captain. The purest act of rebellion is to live according to one's own means, independent of any masters. One day, when the board is weak and Halcyon vulnerable, we may claim a piece of this system for ourselves. Until then, we bide our time. Sounds like you've got some plan to overthrow the board. Hardly. The board is rotting from the inside. Tomorrow, next year, a generation from now, eventually, the board will fall to pieces. Entropy is the natural state of the universe, Captain. All systems inevitably dissolve. When that day comes to Halcyon, we will be ready. That was simultaneously the least scientific and most pompous statement I've heard in ages. Well done, Mr. Harlow. Damn. A vicar. I admit, I never imagined a man of the cloth living the adventurer's life. You do keep some interesting company. Was there anything else? Let's change the subject. Something on your mind? How well do you know Felix? Well enough. It's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything, and you'd never back down. What do you mean, had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. You see what I had to deal with? I should go. So, we got to find the traitor. And in order to find him, we gotta go through Rosanna. I don't know, I feel like, yeah, he supposedly snitched them to the board, but in the same sentence, he did mention how if the board tries to get into this place, they'll be able to properly defend themselves, so something's not really adding up. And I have a good feeling this guy is just talking out of his, talking out of his ass. And there's actually a real reason why he wants the guy dead question is why why does he want this guy to die so bad and we'll probably find out through rosanna okay i am heading back to the groundbreaker so off we go right i just love how the map shows us flying across so Destiny fast the groundbreaker. and the thing is we're going so fast and yet don't I get, like, some sort of a whiplash, or...? Damn, are they- are they okay? They just sit there around the ladder like that. Yay, we're back on the Groundbreaker! Now, forgive me, but I'm just gonna bum rush through, honestly, because... I'm pure- I'm very curious. Like, there has to be more to it than that. Because, like I said, it just doesn't make any sense. Okay, so she's in here? Oh, she's actually in here. This is Halcyon Doom. We interrupt your- You mind? Trying to have a moment here. I'm looking for a guy by the name of Rufus Trask. I'm told he lived around here. Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't Damn. know where he is. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. If you know where Trask is, you want to tell me. That's Harlow's mark, no mistake. Guess he's not letting this one go. I don't want any manner of harm befalling Rufus. Not on my account. Uh, 
If Trask puts up a fight, it won't be your fault. All right, I'll tell you where he is. Just get out of here, please. Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. That's as much as I know. I got a few more questions. Please, just make it quick. How much do you know about Harlow? Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution. Something about mm. getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. Sounds familiar, Felix? He must have been recruiting. Gathering up his band of revolutionaries. Word of advice, kid? Anybody carrying on about a revolution just wants to sell you something. I don't know Harlow. Never so much as bandied a word with a fellow. You're better off having this discussion with Rufus. Harlow tells me Trask betrayed him. Do you know anything about that? Only that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. He was here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. He didn't tell you anything about Harlow? No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. Little late for that, says I. You and Trask split up. That's right. Our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. That's what I wanted to know. I'll leave you be. Appreciate it. No offense meant. Just been a long day is all. Huh. So Harlow here is spewing out his little sales pitch to everyone. Everyone who's desperate enough to follow his sweet little words. So at this point, I have a strong, strong suspicion that Harlow ain't shit. He's scheming something that he is not really telling us, so I'm gonna definitely find out what's going on. Oh man, I feel so bad for Felix though. I feel like Loki, his friend in question, is not really his friend like that. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Oh shit, the infamous Edgewater. Lord, I haven't been there in ages. Okay, so we are here. And... What, it's a long ass trip, for real? Great. You know what, I'm just gonna fast forward this nice little walk here. One, two, three. Holy shit, he's over here. He's been hiding in this corner the whole time. Right on the other side of the labs where the deserves were earlier in the series oh shit you gotta be kidding me are they enemies are they foes no okay i don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here but i'm willing to make a guess you're one of harlow's gun hands ain't you he sent you after me your wife told me where to find you. Former wife. And if you so much as heard a hair on Rosanna's head, I will put you in the ground. Relax, she's fine. Yeah, okay. I'm having a conversation with a hired killer, but I'm supposed to relax. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Arlo wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. Why did you betray Harlow? How do I know that I can trust you? If I wanted to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. Wow. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All that palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another bored asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. 
You're asking me to take you for your word. Show me some evidence. Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. If you've got proof, let's see it. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. What was Harlow doing for the board? Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself. Gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. Why would the board buy off Harlow? Because he's for sale. Anything the board can buy, the board will buy. And that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard, and he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. All right, I've, ha I've heard enough. Take it, you've made up your mind. I'm not going to kill you, Trask, but I am going to ask you for your ring. You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. Here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Take care. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.